In this segment, I want to take a look at opening up artwork and images for use with Digitizer software. And so specifically, we're going to go to the image drop down menu and take a look at the option for insert image. So when I choose insert image, this open dialog box appears. And you can see here on the left, I have quick links to get to some of my sort of most recently um, used places or most common places like my computer or my documents. I'm currently looking at the folder called Embroidery Album, and this is the folder that was installed with the Digitizer software, and I found that under the My Documents option. Now, right now, you can see the contents of that folder, and if I go ahead and just click on one of these designs, you would see what the artwork looks like. And specifically right now, we're looking at files of type of BMP artwork. Now I can click on this little triangle, and show you that you also have the ability to open up JPEG, PNG, PX, PCX, WMF, EMF, or EPS. These are the formats that we can work with directly inside of the Digitizer software. So once you basically select your artwork, you just simply have to say open and it puts that artwork onto your screen. Now, you have other art formats that can be used with the digitizer software but you would need to go through the graphics mode to be able to access them in other words if you want to work with vectorized artwork like Corel draw files or Adobe Illustrator files you can do that but you'll first need to switch to graphics mode so we imported this image directly from the image import center but the other alternative is here where you can switch to the graphics mode. So when I go to graphics mode, it brings me to the Corel Draw interface. And just as an example, I could draw a vector right now. This is a rectangle. I'll draw a vectorized rectangle. And maybe I'll even choose to fill that in. So I'll give it a fill color of, let's say, red. And I'll change the outline of that based on some sort of a nice bold outline. And if I go back, switch back to graphics mode or embroidery mode, you can see there's the vector that I made. So now I have an image on my screen and a vector. Just as an example, this says hide display images. So if I can hide my image or turn it back on again. And same thing with the vectors. I can hide the vectors or display them. So when you're over here in the vectors mode, Anything that's on my embroidery screen shows up so I can actually see that BMP artwork over here in vectors mode as well as I can see the vector. And here I would have the ability to open up. So if I said file and import, and there's also a button for import that's found here on my desktop, import. And now it gives me the ability to browse through the contents of my computer similar to the open dialog box, except for this time, the files of type is different because now I can open up an Adobe Illustrator AI file or a CorelDRAW CDR file and I'll just scroll through the list. There's quite a large list of different types of vectorized image files that can be opened when you're using the Corel graphics interface that's been built beside the digitizer for use with Digitizer, really. So as you can see here, these are CorelDRAW files. And if I just click on one of them, it'll give me the preview of it. And if I was to import that, it would give me the ability to import this vectorized file onto my workspace. Now, if I pop, pop back over to embroidery graphics mode, you can see here that I have the vector file and the image file on my screen. So you really have the ability to work with two different types of embroidery. And specifically where they're different is the vectorized embroidery. To convert that to thread, you would need to do, I guess really you have two options. You could either use your own digitizing tools to digitize any of the artwork that's on your screen. Or if you want to use sort of the automatically generated embroidery, then with the vectorized artwork, we'll use the graphics mode to convert that vectorized artwork into embroidery. But for the BMP images that we brought onto our screen, we'll use these um, click to design tools to convert that embroidery into uh, that graphic into embroidery. So 
I'm going to be showing both methods, and I'm going to be looking at both methods in detail. But in this, meth in this particular segment, I just simply wanted to start by showing how you get the artwork onto your screen. So once you have artwork on your screen, then there's certainly several options for how to digitize that artwork into embroidery, and I'll be going through those mm -hmm. as well. So just to recap, if you want to work with vectorized images and import vectorized images onto your screen, we switch to graphics mode. If you want to import BMP images onto your screen or JPEGs for directly for use with the um, click to design or click to stitch tools, we'll use the image drop down menu. So I'm going to come back and talk about the different methods to digitize artwork like this.